Hey everybody, thanks for coming back to Jans.com. I'm Double D, Doug Dalton, Technical Ambassador for SRAM, RockShox, and Avid. Today I want to talk about our 1x11 concept. Now 1x11 comes in two groupos, X01 and XX1. And today we're going to talk about XX1. We're going to start up here at the shifter, then we're going to talk about our new X-Sync chain ring, chain retention system, move back to this amazing cog set that's machined out of tool steel and then finish off with some cool innovations in the rear derailleur. So thanks for joining me, let's get to it. So this is the magic of a one by system, the 10 to 42 rear cog set. Now, how we made this is it's one piece of tool steel for the lower 10 gears and then it's capped with a forged aluminum 42. So unlike a standard HG cassette, about the only thing it shares is the old HG lock ring tool. So this lock ring is quite a bit different. It's a sleeve that pulls the 10 and pushes the 42 onto a proprietary new driver body. Now by proprietary, I mean we designed it, but it's open source to anybody that wants to use it. And so currently about 95% of all hub manufacturers have adopted the XD driver body concept, but you can see it's a lot different. It's a very well machined interface for the 42 with the threads inboard. Now, what does that mean? That means we got away with clocking. So clocking, when you're in the lower gear on a standard cog set, pulls that to the, uh, to the bottom, and when you're in the highest gear, it pulls it on the other side. So uneven bearing wear. So by creating this new lock ring technology, we get even wear, we drop six to eight grams on the driver body, and a wider range of gears. What's the bonus here? Tool steel cog sets last four times longer than the competition. So not only are you going further, but so is your money. Well, thanks for checking out Jans.com today. I hope you come in and check out some XX1, get it on your bike. It's gonna make your ride just that much sweeter. So for Double D and SRAM, be well. We'll see you next time when we talk about the new RockShox Pike.